little backstory, this journey has been the grace of God all along. Right from applying to schools in the UK and USA last year November slash December. Those ones in UK decided not to give me admission, all of them oh, I got confused not knowing God want me to go to USA. So I focused on US since UK schools did not offer me admission. In January, I got my admission letter from my first school with 11k USD scholarship, I proceeded to pay service fee with the school details. Then in March, University of New Haven sent my admission offer with 27k USD scholarship. I transferred my service to UNH. Then date search and preparation issue set in, wow, getting date is another story on its own. I had September 1st and then I started praying for favorable date and, God gave me a better date. Preparation started and I attended mock sessions and, was also praying back to back because, I knew my life depend on this. I fasted and prayed and kept asking God for grace and favor on my interview date. I kept declaring the word of God on my life and my story as I know my condition. While I was preparing for my interview, my ex broke up with me. Gosh. Emotional trauma with USA visa stress, I told myself that babe. You're getting this visa. I ignored the breakfast I was served and, moved on like nothing happened because, the goal is to ace my interview and get my visa. So let's go to the interview day proper. First attempt. I woke up this morning, and the first sentence that came out of my mouth was this is the day the Lord has made, I will rejoice and be glad in IT. I got to the embassy at 5.22 am. I was the first person to arrive, I started playing Nathaniel Bassey's song Olo Runag Bay and was dancing. I was smiling to everyone because I knew God has settled me. So let's dive into the event of the day. Me, good morning mom, how are you doing today? V.O., good morning, I'm very well, thank you. V.O., have you been to the United States before? Me, no, I haven't but I've been to Europe, I mentioned the country, and United Arab Emirates. V.O., I see, so what do you do? Me, I currently work as a product designer at 30 where my roles entails 20, I started listing out my roles exactly the way I had it in my DS 160, the VO did not cut me off when talking, she was just nodding in agreement and typing while listening to my story. I got tired and stopped talking. VO, do you have a bachelor's degree before? Me, no, I don't but, I have two diplomas which I obtained in 2014 and 2017 respectively. I mentioned the schools and courses and then chipped in that I had my lovely son in 2014 too. VO, I can see you have a scholarship of 27,000 US dollars, who will be paying for your deficit. Me, my lovely father will be sponsoring my education. He is a senior construction consultant who execute construction projects with ex-state government and private firms. He is into the construction of commercial, industrial and residential buildings and he has a staff strength of 27 engineers on his payroll and generate an annual revenue of 85 m naira. Also, having worked professionally for over four years, I've been able to save a good amount of money which I'll be using for my minor expenses during my stay in the US. V.O., that's fine. So will you be coming back to your current place of work after your studies? Me, yes definitely, upon the completion of my studies I'll be returning to my current place of work to take up a senior role as a lead product designer where I'll be leading digital experiences through strategic research and design optimization. V.O., do you have a study leave? Me, yes I do. I have a 30% paid study leave. V.O., will your son be going with you? Me, I would have loved to take him along but being a bachelor's student I'll need to focus and my son is currently enrolled in one of the best schools in Lagos State. My lovely auntie who has been his grandma since I lost my mum will be taking care of him while I'm away, and I'll be coming back during major holidays to visit and check up on him as I'll miss him so much. V.O., that's okay. Everything looks good, your visa have been approved, slides the white paper and my I-20 to me. Contact your school to give you an updated I-20 for smooth entry at the point of entry. Me, thank you very much mom, have a nice day.